As we continue our series on content creation, I'm watching for your questions and I want to answer them to the best of my ability. So let's jump back to my video where I featured Kingston's workflow station device and check out this question from Brian Jarvis who asks, why do you buy SD cards? Would you not be better future-proofed by buying only micro SD cards and using an adapter when required? I thought adapters have no effect on I.O. speeds. And I'll tell you what, Brian, you could be right. For me, I think it's probably just a matter of preference, where I feel like the SD card is a little more rugged than this wafer-thin micro SD. But is there a difference? I don't have the answer to that. And I think you'll find with Category 5 Technology TV, one thing here is I'm not ashamed to say when I don't know the answer to something. But I find someone who does. And that's where David Leong comes in from Kingston Technology. I gave David a call and David, thank you for joining us. Would you be able to touch on Brian's question? He'd like to know whether there is a performance difference between an SD card and a micro SD. Hi, Robbie, and thank you, Brian, for the question. You know the difference between an SD and a micro SD card? There really isn't that much of a difference at all. It's really just about the size. So capacities generally are the same. And then if you're talking about performance, now the one thing you want to be concerned about is that some of the lower capacity SD and micro SD cards are going to be just a little bit slower than the higher capacity. The reason why is it's more on the engineering backend side. You know, the higher capacity uh, SD and micro SD cards, sometimes they have more chips inside of it. So that means there's more chips for the controller to address. If we think of this as like the freeway and traffic, well, the more lanes on a freeway, the faster the cars can move. So that's really what we're talking about when it comes to performance. Oh, wow. Okay. So the larger the capacity of the card, presumably the faster it's going to be. That's interesting. Okay, cool. Thanks, Dave. Um, now, Question for you then, when I think about the ruggedness of these two devices, like, you know, this one looks like it's such a little tiny, thin little thing, and this one's got a little more heft to it. Do I have to worry about this one with like heat, for example? Like if I have this running in my car or in a hot environment while I'm shooting video? SD cards can operate, and micro SD cards can operate from negative 25 Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius. So that's usually not a concern for most everybody. If there is that industrial case use, you're working in a super, super harsh environment, there are industrial cards that you can look into as well. Okay, so my final question about this, Dave, if I may, uh, I've got these adapters that will convert my micro SD card into a full-sized SD, and it feels like a full-sized SD at that point. Is this affecting the performance of my card? It's a pa the adapter is passive. So when you put that micro SD card into the SD adapter, that's really more of a flexibility thing there. So let's say your device uses a micro SD card, but the laptop that you have only has an SD slot. Well, that's why some companies will ship an SD card adapter with it to make it easier for you to kind of offload that data from the device into your computer. So that's really what we're talking about when it comes to SD and micro SD cards. The bottom line is, is really this. Um, why buy the fastest card if you don't need the fastest card? Look at your device specs and buy your, make your purchase based on that because it's your hard earned money after all. So Brian, I hope that answers your question. And Robbie, thank you for the opportunity. That's great information, Dave. Thank you so much. Now, of course, me shooting uh, 4K video all the time, I do feel like I do need speed and I need capacity. So it still makes sense for me, but it sounds like, Brian, you're right. To future-proof myself, I should be investing in micro SDs and using those uh, SD card adapters. Can't really see a benefit to either or, so I think you're right. These little guys are probably the, the way to go. So... Hey, thank you for the question. Get your questions and post them below. Anything you'd like to know about our broadcast facility here at Category 5 Technology TV, how I create the videos that we do put out as content creators here on YouTube, I'd love to hear from you. I welcome your questions and I look forward to uh, being here with you for the rest of our series as we learn the content creation process of Category 5 Technology TV. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.